What if Deku was a vampire? Part two. Now, before I do get into this video, I would like to shout out my editor's channel, Alpha Anime. Link in the description. Let's try to get them to a thousand subscribers before November. I will also be making a couple what if series on there. So yeah, if you want to see a little bit of my extra what if content, go check that out. But there's also a ton of other what if content that will be posted up on his channel. And I'm also sorry if um you guys didn't like the first part. I'm making this video before um part one goes live or gets uploaded because um, that's what I do. I record a video in advance, which is before one of my videos goes live. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys didn't like the first part. And I'm sorry if you guys hear any meowing or any noises. My two new cats that I just got recently are in my room, um, doing stuff. So, yeah. Now, let's get into this what if. Where I left off, the last three remaining UA students had just graduated. These three being Ochako Uaraka, Bakugo Katsuki, and Todoroki Shoto. Now, a basic recap is most of the UA first years died against their fights with Izuku. Izuku pretty much left alone a lot of the other classes. He did maybe minor attacks on them, but his main focus was Class 1A. They were the only people that knew Hamon, so he needed to get rid of them because they were the only threat to him. So Izuku would try to get rid of as much of them, which he would, would, would cause only three to remain. Now, from there, Bakugo, Todoroki's, and Uraka's journey would begin. They would go out searching for Izuku, which would take quite a while. It's just like Dio in Part 3, where it took them a month to find him, but that was after using Hermit Purple and all that. Now, a key factor is that they are pro-heroes now. They still have to take villain calls. They have to defeat other villains, which Izuku could use this to his advantage quite well. They could get distracted by a very big threat, something like All for One was, which could cause Izuku to easily strike them while they were down, giving him an easy victory, which could cause him to completely just rule the world if the last Hamon users were killed. So Izuku would be watching for anything that could allow him to attack. At one point, he would just send one of his last remaining Nomus that he got from brainwashing the League of Villains, and he would send that to the USJ. He would also make it a bird vampire, which he would try to add abilities to it over time, giving it the ability to talk and all that. Now, what from there, all of the three remaining UA students would get a call saying that there's an attack at the USJ, or just a mysterious being, which would cause them to just wonder, what is this being or mysterious thing? Now, Todoroki would realize that it was either Izuku or one of his underlings, so he would try to go fight it, which Bakugo would try to stop him. He would say, Su Todoroki, it's still so confusing having Izuku being the main antagonist, while Bakugo is the protagonist. It's quite weird. Um, but Todoroki would start to run over to the USJ or head over there with Bakugo trying to stop him, saying that they shouldn't go until they have a plan. It's That's just what Izuku wants Todoroki to do. Think unrationally and go there, charge in without a plan, and then easily get killed. He's trying to pick us off, Todoroki. Todoroki wouldn't think anything of it, thinking Izuku wasn't smart. I mean, he was a villain, and all the rest of the villains they've taken care of were pretty stupid. As Bakugo would then just look at Todoroki with pleading eyes. Please, Todoroki, you're gonna die. We can't have another of us fall. Todoroki would just tell Bakugo if he's not gonna come with him, then that doesn't matter. He's going to revenge 
his family, and he's going to revenge his lost students, or his lost classmates. Bakugo would only look at Todoroki, saying, Please, Todoroki, you can't do this. Todoroki would just not listen to him, as he would then start to head over to the USJ. Todoroki would arrive at the USJ, as he would then open the doors, which would reveal a Nomu. Todoroki would walk up to the Nomu, yelling to, to Izuku, saying, Reveal yourself, Izuku, I know you're here! And now, a quick ad break. Are you interested in buying yourself some My Hero Academia merch? Some amazing hoodas, shirts with your favorite character on it? From Izuku Midoriya, to Shoto Todoroki, Bakugou Katsuki, and Himiko Toga. Go click the link in my description box now, and get some awesome discounts from 17% up to 48% off. They offer you free shipping as well. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description. Now that the ad is over, we can get back into this what if. Todoroki would be yelling for Izuku, saying, Izuku, I know you're here, show yourself. But only would see the Nomu, as the Nomu would just laugh as it would look down at Todoroki, as he would then say, Todoroki, you came here, you just fell for Izuku's trap, now face my wrath. As the Nomu would then charge right at Todoroki, showing up monstrous amounts of strength, and would punch Todoroki right in the gut. We cut back to Bakugo pacing around trying to find a decision. Should he go and help Todoroki, or should he stay there with Uraraka, hoping that Todoroki survives and beats whatever was waiting for him at the USJ? Now, Bakugo knows that Izuku is very, very smart. Izuku could have just dragged Todoroki away from the group to kill him, or he was trying to separate the group to kill all of them with very easy precision, as he could kill Todoroki, leaving the group with half of its strength, go over, kill Uraraka, which would leave Bakugo devastated, and then kill him as well, which Bakugo is just left puzzled. He's in a pickle here. He doesn't know what to do. Izuku would be just watching from the background as we cut back to Todoroki. Todoroki would jump out of the rubble after getting punched by the Nomu, as it would then charge right at the Nomu with a Hamun punch, as it would then punch the Nomu in the gut, which would leave a small hole there, but it really wasn't anything too much that the Nomu couldn't handle, as the Nomu would then start to regenerate, as Todoroki's eyes would just widen in complete shock and fear. What? How? That can't be. My hormone should have punched right through you. The Nomu would laugh once again, as he'd say, Oh, Todoroki. So wrong. You should have stayed with Bakugo. Your decision to come here was unwise. Now you will face my wrath and die. The Nomu would grab Todoroki's head, slamming it into its knee, as it would then send a barrage of punches right at Todoroki, sending him flying into the air, as it would then jump up and smash him down into the ground, as Todoroki would start to cough out blood. He was dying, basically, and he couldn't believe it. He should have been able to kill this Nomu with ease. He's been training with Hamun for three years, and yet... He's not strong enough. How? How is he not strong enough? Why isn't he strong enough? We cut back to Bakugo, who is now fighting a random villain attack in the city. Once he defeated that villain, though, he would then start to rush to the USJ. However, he was miles away from it and wouldn't get there for many minutes, maybe even an hour, which to him could be too late as Todoroki would probably already be dead. He made up his mind to leave Uraraka and to go to Todoroki. Izuku would just laugh thinking that the two strongest are coming right to him and that Nomu's gonna kill Todoroki. So if he can kill Bakugo while he's down, this should be quite easy. The world is his. It's in his hands 
now that both Todoroki and Bakugo has fallen for his trap. Now, we cut back to Todoroki after seeing Bakugo running towards the USJ. Todoroki is just trying to get up after the crazy amount of hits that the Nomu just pulled on him. He was struggling to get up as his breathing was starting to get heavy. All of his years of training Hamon could not compare to this fight that he's having with this Nomu. As Todoroki would then get up as he'd just send a massive amount of Hamon to his arm and slam it into the Nomu's arm or side of his body, which would cause the Nomu's left arm and shoulder to just be disintegrated by how much Hamon that he used, as the Nomu would jump back saying, Ah, you damn brat! This is gonna take a while to regenerate. Todoroki, now smiling, thinking that he's finally found the Nomu's weakness, would charge right at him with even more Hamon, but would feel some type of electric shock as his body just stops moving mid-punch. As Todoroki's breathing becomes ragged and rapid as he doesn't know what's happening. As he would then fall down to his knees, just utterly exhausted. He used all or most of his hormone in that last punch that he did. As the Nomu would just laugh, as his arm would then come out of the, his shoulder area, so he'd say, That didn't take too long. He's, as long as I thought it would. Now that you're on your knees, it's finally time for you to die. Todoroki would just have his eyes just completely widened, as he'd say, No, you should have listened to Bakugo. You should have stayed with him. But it's too late. Bakugo, kill Zuku for me, please. As the Nomu would then slam its heads into Todoroki's head, as it would grab it and slam it into the ground, stepping on Todoroki's body, as Todoroki would cough out or choke out <laughs> last a breath, as he would then slowly die. As Bakugo would then slam open the doors, his eyes looking around. Where the hell's Todoroki? Please, Todoroki, still be alive. As Bakugo would then look down towards the center, seeing just a pool of blood as he would rush down, seeing Todoroki's dead body.